Hey, how's it going? My name is Gonzalo, and I want to share a quick video, and I want to discuss how I lost 21 pounds in three weeks. It's real easy, in my opinion. I didn't work out at all about two times. About two weeks ago, I worked out once, messed up my leg, and well, about two days ago, and today is like the third time I work out. So in three weeks, I lost 21 pounds. The first week, I was making mistakes that were hurting instead of helping me. So in reality, I've been doing it the right way for about two weeks. So what was I doing wrong the first week? I was consuming a lot of fruits, and fruits have a lot of sugar. I bought myself a, a crate of oranges and a box of grapes. I had been drinking watermelon uh, juice, natural, all natural, but still it's got fructose and pineapples pineapple juice so I stopped consuming the fruits and I started listening to some doctors on YouTube and I stuck to a certain uh, couple that I thought were speaking the truth and they really re resonated with me so what I've been eating is fish I've been grilling my fish and I've been steaming my fish and I got myself some tin foil and some parchment paper I'll throw the fish Inside the tin foil, I put olives, cabbage, tomatoes, garlic, ginger, onions, and I'll, I'll put some lemon in there. I'll cover it up and I'll put it on top of the rice cooker. There's like a separate a separate casserole that goes on the top of a separate bowl that fits in fits on top of the rice bowl. It's got holes in it, so you fill the bottom and you boil it, and that produces steam and it'll cook the fish within the, the rice cooker. So I'll steam my fish for about 20, 25 minutes. Then I'll eat myself, uh, I'll steam some broccoli on the side and some cauliflower. So I've basically been eating fish, uh, sardine, canned, no problem, mackerel and tuna, and fresh fish. Here in the Philippines, they got bangus. I got some tilapia and some, I, the other one is called Lapulapu. It's a little bit more expensive. But I got me some of that, and it's real good. So I made myself uh, one of them steaks yesterday of that Lapulapu fish. And like the other day, I made myself some with olives and all the vegetables that I just explained about a, a minute ago. And it's real good. Fish, i also been eating eggs. So I, I've been sticking to eggs and fish. Eggs have choline, which produces bile. And if they say that eggs do have a lot of cholesterol, because it's true, the bile destroys it because uh, the choline creates the bile and the bile destroys the, the cholesterol. So that's good. Eggs, you can't go wrong. You could eat three, four, five eggs daily, not a problem. And that's to include the yolk because like I said, that creates bile because the eggs have choline. So I've been eating the eggs, the fish, the vegetables, the cruciferous greens, like explain the broccoli and uh, the cauliflower and cabbage. I wish I could get a hold of some uh, Brussels sprouts here, but they, I haven't found them. So I've, I've been eating those vegetables and some salads as well. So fish, vegetables, salads, and eggs. And I've been using a lot of uh, olive oil. I've been eating a lot of garlic. I'll even throw it in my water and just let it rest for like 20 minutes and I'll throw some olive oil in my water. And sometimes I'll put Instead of doing that cocktail, I'll do some uh, I'll do some water with apple cider vinegar and uh, some lemon. So I'll drink those two in coffee. So basically, all the things that I explained as far as beverage wise and and the vegetables, the the, the salads and uh, the eggs and the fish, that's what I've basically been eating. And I'll have a little piece of cheese sometimes daily. I had some pepper jack there, and come to find out, cheese ain't that bad. It's not so much the fats. It's the vegetable oils, especially when you heat them, um, they become toxic. So I don't need no, I don't need any oils, especially I don't put it over the flame or nothing to saute anything. My eggs, I'll cook them on a, on a non-stick pan and uh, I'll just turn them real fast. And there you go. No need to include the oil. And I've also been eating a lot of avocados. Avocados are good. It's avocado season right now here in the Philippines. And I used to eat them a lot when I was in Mexico. 
they actually they came here to the Philippines from Mexico in the 1500s and I've, I've planted a couple of trees so I should be having my own avocados like in I don't know six more months to a year hopefully I'm gonna be here like two and a half more years so basically basically been doing that haven't really been working out but I have been fasting I have been fasting so 18 off six on I'll eat at lunchtime and the latest I'll eat is at 5 30 so basically two meals within the six hour time frame and then I'll let my body rest for 18 hours so in the beginning yeah as I was speaking I was uh I was I was saying fruits are real bad I even had bought me I ordered two 500 milligram jars of honey wild honey because I thought yeah honey speeds up your metabolism and like I said the fruits got myself the grapes a lot of antioxidants supposedly they're good for the liver and you know Pineapples have a lot of fiber, you know, they're good for for slimming down. But at the same time, those fruits have fructose. Uh, fruits have 60% fructose, 40% glucose. And guess what? When it comes to the sugars and the fruits, the liver and the liver alone is the one that gets to break those down. Like the starches and everything else, they got 40%. They got a, excuse me, a correction. They got... 40% fructose, 60% glucose. It's the other way around. They got a little bit more glucose, but guess what? When it comes to the starches and the sugars and everything else, which is still like really, really bad, the whole body like uh, kicks in, chimes in, and, and it helps break down those type of sugars. But when it comes to the sugars from the fruits, once again, the liver and the liver alone is the one that breaks those sugars down. So you might think that fruits are real good and I remember like back in the day they used to say eat your fruits and vegetables it was a phrase that you know they would couple those things together and uh, in reality eat your vegetables but don't always eat your fruits especially like me I'm trying to cure my liver and I'm trying to slim down I've dropped 21 pounds in three weeks but like I said the first week I was making a lot of mistakes mistakes so it's really been two weeks and uh, I hope, you know, I'm 178 now. I was 200. I'm hoping to get down to 160. And at the same time, I'm going to work out. So I'm probably add a little muscle. And I'm going to look slimmer. But at the same time, I'm going to gain a little weight. Um, at the same time that I cut the more weight. Right? So, you know, at least working out once or twice is better than nothing. And it's basically just forcing your body a little bit more. And... Getting used to recover, recovering, um, because when you work out, you're basically, you're kind of like hurting your body, but at the same time, you're recovering. So like one, one time, one time is better than, than, than none at all. And two is better than one. Eventually three, four, maybe five times a week. That's, that's better than where I was. So I haven't really been incorporating the workouts because I messed up my knee. But when I do, uh, man, it's, it's going to be far more uh, beneficial for myself as far as uh, slimming down, cutting down, and keeping the weight off. But most importantly, out of anything, I think it's the intermittent fasting. Oh, yeah, and I've, I've also um, I fasted uh, not just eight hours out of 16 but i cut it down to one meal where i was only eating at lunchtime so basically i was giving my body a 23 hour rest um without eating because you know back in the days they also used to say eat your snacks and what do you do when you eat a snack you're basically it's like an appetizer and you're ba basically it's the precursor course precursor to a meal so basically you're telling your your body oh here's this little appetite um maybe uh well that brings out the desire for you to eat more in reality 100 percent. so when you're doing when you're doing that you're telling your body hey hey come on man let's eat some more but when you tell children like for example i was listening to this on youtube and i found it really interesting when they used to like tell children eat eat all these snacks in between your meals then when they become fat because like you're basically just bringing out the appetite with these little snacks and then the the people get hungry the children get hungry but then all of a sudden you have to stop because it's just a little bit then all of a sudden when their appetite gets out of control and they start eating a lot 
then they gain the weight, then you shun them for being fat, then you go like, oh man, you're not, you're mentally weak, you're not strong enough, hey man, that's kind of like, that don't make sense, so it's better to stick to three meals, if that's what, if, 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 if that's okay, it's better to stick to two, and if you can, if you want to really lose weight, you can eat one time a day, eating the right things, and drinking a lot of water in between, and hey, you're going to lose a lot of weight, so that's basically it, Thanks for listening.